You like getting started on this packed lunch already? We have nothing left for later. Yeah, we first saw Reed's house when we was having a picnic, remember? Aye, and look at us now. Morning, campers. Morning. Morning. Why are you watching so bright and early? Oh, we just got up to the house. Yeah, we're going to make a bit of a day of it, you know. Oh, I'm passing there. Do you guys want to hitch your ride? Oh, that'd be great. Cheers. Yeah, thanks. I'll get in the front, shall I? No, you get in the back with me. With my legs. Got to keep an eye on him. It'll be eaten after lunch before we get there. I blame you if I get thrombosis. Oh. Morning. Good morning. You sleep well, sexy? Oh, yes. I'm just going to go down and put you some coffee on. Uh, no. No coffee. I, I'm fine. You're more than fine. You fancy... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, the stamina. <laughs> Well, I think I'll have to decline this time. You've all but worn me out. <laughs> I'll get the bacon on them. No, don't. Uh, have you ever spoken to a party first thing in the morning? He's like a bear with a sore head. We best just keep out of the way. Yeah. Welcome to Radio War. Who's she got in a room with her? You what? Right after this show. Yeah, she's got some bloke in there with her, hasn't she? Poor sod. Are you sure? Unless. Unless the cats learn to talk. But it's it again. Suck on the punishment, that lad. So is she, especially after last time. Will she ever learn? That's wonderful news. Thank you. I'll be speaking to you soon then. Bye. So you got it then? Yes! Ooh. We're going back to Scotland! <laughs> oh, at last. Back to the banks and breeze, our bonnie do. Ooh. To get rabby burns over there. <laughs> Bonnie Scotland has spoiled me for every other country, you know. You never mentioned that you missed it, Craig. That's where I belong, innit? You're wearing a kilt next. <laughs> Do you remember what Grandad used to say about kilts? Yes, and it doesn't bear repeating. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, our little secret, remember? How could I forget? If she just stopped and gave some thought to what she did. Hello? Morning. Is that the door? No. Any coffee going? So how's, um, Sid? Is he well? Uh, fine, actually. Nicola, why do you do it with Sid of all people? It's just a one-off. Well, that's worse. You're demeaning yourself. We both got what we wanted. Bags it first in the shower. I said, where have you been? Take it easy, Dad. I won't take it easy. Look, I don't want to have to drag you by the collar round to somebody else's house again. Where were you last night? I stayed with Mark and Ollie. Now, will you chill? You could have phoned. Well, I'm sorry. Let's forget it now, OK? You better not be lying. And you better not be getting into any more trouble. Dad, sit down. I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Stop fretting. Life's too short. I've heard it all now. You make me a cup of tea. Got to get to work. Have a great day. What? I don't know yet, but I'm watching you. Oh, and on that wall, we're going to have some sort of funky wallpaper. I'm thinking splodges of colour. <laughs> and we're going to have an easy clean carpet, just in case someone spills a drink at one of our many parties. And it'd be great for when we eventually have kids. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, if you've got an idea, I just think polished floorboards, you know, with, with, with a nice wax on them. I thought you might prefer that to carpeting, and it's, it's just as easy to clean. I do like polished floors, and it'll look really nice in here. And it would really give you that oldie-worldie yeah, feel as well. Yeah. Easy to do and all, and cheap. Yeah. I suppose. So that's why I can't stop my legs from moving. The side effects would be worse if you weren't on the procyclidine. Oh, at last. What? Someone's talking to me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. They didn't tell me anything about the medication I was prescribed in hospital. We do things a little differently here. But you have been put on the correct medication, and the dosage seems about right. It's a relief to be treated like an equal. We can give you all the information you want. We can talk about what you're going through, the side effects... Spasms? It's embarrassing people will notice them. 
It is a very common side effect and unfortunate, but the drugs are helping your mind. Try not to be too concerned about what people might see. And um, what about alternative medication? We could swap your script, but it wouldn't be wise. The haloperidol is working. If we swap it now, it could set you back weeks. My advice is to stick with it. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? How long have you got? <laughs> well, why don't I get us a cup of coffee first and... <laughs> this is different from the last place. Thank you. Period decor would be so nice for this yeah, place. Yeah, I like that. Bit fussy, though, all that chintz. Bit like our place at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sticking my nose in. No, 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 not at all. It's good to get different ideas. OK, so less period. <laughs> but you're going to get rid of that. Ah! <laughs> no. Oh, it's just I, I didn't think it quite fitted in with your funky theme. Wrong era. Well, obviously, it's going to be painted. What do you see there instead? Well, you can pick up these gorgeous Victorian ones, but they, they are yeah. quite expensive. You know what? Zach might be able to help us with that. We'll go for a walk around the garden. Sure. What do you, what do you think about a, a big mirror on that wall? Yeah, yeah. Open the room right up. Yeah. And, and don't, don't show up on lighting. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? You and Sid. Oh. And I know you're going to get it, even if you say it was just a one-night stand. <sighs> I wouldn't worry about it. Of course I should worry. You're coming here with that smile on your face for now, and I know there's a storm coming. Is this all you do all day? Think about my sex life? No. I'm just concerned. Sid ain't right for you. It wasn't even Sid. You what? It was somebody else. Who? Robert. Robert Sugden. But keep it quiet. I don't want everyone to know. Robert Sugden is nothing but a boy. Not now he isn't. What were you thinking? Well, long ago I were babysitting Robert. In our house. Nicola. Oh, calm down. I haven't broken any laws. He's old enough. I can't believe I'm hearing this. What on earth do you think you're doing? It was completely natural between two consenting adults. And whatever you say, he is an adult. Even if he has just done his GCSEs. Nicola! Hell, I can't believe I'm running so late. Well, thanks for your help. You are going to have so much fun doing this place <laughs> up. I quite envy you. Yeah. Anyway, say see you to Trisha for me. I will. I don't know where she's got to, actually. Didn't she say something about the garden? Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Trisha! I guess we might swap the medication for something that'll relieve these... these tremors. That all sounds very positive. And they're going to be looking at that tomorrow? Yes. How's everyone at home? Charity sends her best wishes. She's really busy with this landfill, sir. And Joseph, what have you told him about me? Well, we just said that you were tired out. You'd come here for some rest. I miss him. I'll have to get him a... a gift. Getting you better be a present enough for all of us. And Paddy? Oh, he, he sends his love. We saw him this morning. And is he coping OK? He hasn't reported any problems. Runner's doing very well in your absence. Good. He hasn't been to see me. I feel like I've done something. Oh, I'm sure he'll visit as soon as he gets a spare moment. I haven't done something, have I? Because I don't remember. No, 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 no. He's very concerned about you. I haven't upset him. Don't worry. You haven't done anything. Thank you. Enjoy. What's wrong, Bob? Little group over there criticising my pouring technique. I pride myself on my pints. <laughs> well, they're not locals. Maybe it's the real ale brigade. They're a fussy lot. You know, I could have sworn I saw one of them earlier with a tape measure measuring the size of my head. I always pour the perfect size head. I've never had any complaints before today. They could be the metric martyrs, eh? They can be a funny lot. Or they could be from the brewery. No, no, they're not from the brewery. 
I mean, I've heard of the mystery shopper, but I don't think they have such a thing as a mystery drinker, do they? <laughs> Besides, that one there on the left there, he's had four pints already. They've been here less than an hour. Well, if they're knocking back the beer, they can't be much wrong with it, can they? Hey, maybe he's the mystery alcoholic. <laughs> Brandy, please, <laughs> Oh, you know, I never had this trouble in tights. What? <laughs> oh, look, it's the village virgin. Is she dressed sharp with a bee on it? Like Superman, except his virgin man. <laughs> <laughs> one tea and one ice finger. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure? It's just me being silly, it's nothing. Doesn't look like that. It's Rona and Marlon. Oh, no. I've just left them to it. Oh, Trisha, I'm so sorry. You know they didn't even notice me leave? Has it been going on long, the affair? Oh, no. No, it's nothing like that. I know Marlon wouldn't do that to me. I've just left him up at the house discussing furnishings. What's the problem? Her ideas are miles better. She's much more clever than me. Some people just have a talent for that sort of thing. Yeah, well, she's got talent for lots of things. So do you. Yeah, but I'm no vet. I liken bartending to my years spent in ladies' hosiery. It's part product, part presentation, and a hefty amount of razzle-dazzle. Oh, you've got plenty of that. Tights and pints. Both need selling with a bit of gazon, but a little kapow. You're a credit to the salesman's ethos. <laughs> Hi, Rodney. Ready? I'm glad I found you. Well, it's charming that you should be hunting me. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Please, um... What way? Coming on. You're looking radiant today. Thank you. You look as if you're ready to take on the world. Might be down something that, eh, Rodney? <laughs> there is a reason, actually. Can we sit down? Oh, you've changed your mind about the lobster. <laughs> Thanks. I've had some news. Oh, is uh, anything wrong? <sighs> I got that job. Well, the one in the Highlands? Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations, and uh, for what it's worth, I think you're doing the right thing. <laughs> Thanks, Rodney. When do you start? Oh, not for a few weeks, but I want to spend a bit of time with the kids first. And I just hope things work out better this time. I'm sure it will. Oh. Took me years and lots of dead ends before I found somewhere to settle. Not sure yet I even have. If I can sort things out quickly enough, I'm going tomorrow. Right. Well, here's to you. Take care. And um, keep in touch. I will. B off. How's it going, Big B? <laughs> Grow up, Donna. It must be awful knowing your brother's got more experience than you. He's my stepbrother. And besides, I forget it. Cherry cock, you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him, poor desperate Robert. Not that desperate. You're pure as the driven snow, Rob. Untouched and as delicate as a little flower. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, don't fret. You'll find somebody to do it with someday. Maybe another millennium, <laughs> but. <laughs> Did it last night, for your information? Does she live in a field? Did they call her Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> no, I scored big style. Not with some giggling little girl, either. I lost it to an experienced woman. Edna Burt! <laughs> Are you finished? Who was it, then? Come on, Rob, spill the beans. Did she teach you a couple of tricks? He's got quite an imagination. She and the rest of him is pathetic. <laughs> Why don't you ask Nicola if I'm pathetic? Nicola Blackstock. What? <laughs> you are so sad, Rob. Yeah, as if even Nicola would sink uh, that low. You don't have to believe me. And quite frankly, I don't care whether you do or not. Because I had the best night of my life. And I'm pretty sure she did and all. Whatever, Studley. <laughs> I know she don't mean to, but I really get my confidence not when I'm around her. Confidence, Trisha? I look at you and I see nothing but confidence. You command attention behind that bar. I couldn't do what you do. Suppose. So you're not a vet. 
don't mean you don't have other talents. Marlon! It's so obvious that he loves you. Well, I love him too. It's just... Every time I see him with Rona and listen to him talking, I... I can't help thinking he'd be better off with her. Trisha, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Have you mentioned any of it to Marlon? Oh, no, I couldn't. I'd feel silly talking to him about it. You've got to tell him. He loves you. He'd want to know if you were worried, whatever it's about. You've got to explain it to him. Yeah, you're right. I will. Donna, get Emily for me. Emily! Don't shout! Don't know where you get it from. I need you in the shop. Miss me break. I've got social worker coming, remember? Donna, shop, now. Well, let me finish my drink first. <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, nothing, thanks. Just looking for our Robert. Well, he was here earlier, soiling my furniture, but he's gone now. <sighs> Teenagers, eh? Tell me about it. One minute he's as miserable as sin, the next he's offering to make me tea with this big smirk on his face. Well, you know what that'll be, don't you? Yeah, I've just worked it out. What? Have either of you two heard about our Robert with a new girlfriend? No. Well, he was out all night and he came in this morning looking like the cat who'd got the cream. If any of you hear anything, I'd appreciate it. You do right, Jack. Got to keep an eye on them at this age. <sighs> don't I know it. Nickel Blackstock. Donna, shop, now. I've got something to tell you. You don't have any second thoughts, are you? No, it's about Nicola. Not now. She wasn't with Sid last night. Oh, I don't really care about all that. I just can't wait till she's gone. I think you will care about it, and I don't want you to fly off the handle. Emily, is it me you're talking to? Come on, then. Who was it? Been scraping the bottom of the barrel. No, not exactly. Well, oh, there's no easy way to say it. Hey, what's the matter? Not to worry me now. It was Robert Sugden. <laughs> Robert Sugden. <laughs> yeah, only, only five minutes ago, he was about knee high, belly out of short pants. Robert Sugden. You're not telling me that Robert Sugden and Nicola. Are... Paddy. No, you're not. You're not. You are, aren't you? And I've told her what I think about it, and under our roof and everything, and I'm really disappointed in her. But we've got to forget about them, cos he's going to be here soon, and we've got to be focused. Emily, she cleared up his puke. You don't think she gets turned on by that sort of thing, do you? Paddy, we've got to concentrate, and I am stunned. Bloody neck is here already. Mr Shepherd. Hello. Bill, you must be Emily. Yes, sir. This is Paddy. Excellent. Hi, Nice to meet you both. I'm sorry if I'm a little early. Uh, no problem. I'll put the kettle on, then we can get started. Use it to my ears. I could really do the copper. Uh, sit down. Please, leave it if you want. Maybe she likes virgins. Yeah, like Dracula. I just don't know why she'd do it. You all right there, Rodney? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. How's Nicola? <clears throat> Why'd you ask? Oh, I just wondered. She's not being in today. Uh, well, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> you know, Nicola, happiest when she's missed her bus. I'm getting used to it by now. She has been really unlucky in love, though, hasn't she? Oh, yeah, very unlucky. Yeah, well, I put that down to the bloke she chooses. Let that be a lesson to both of you. Never choose the wrong man. Nicola seems to have a penchant for doing it. <laughs> I'm sure she'll learn her lesson someday. Yeah. Well, I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> there you go. Nobody knows her better than her dad. She has a history of jumping into bed with the wrong man. Yeah, except this time she chose the wrong boy. <laughs> it wasn't covering for him. All right, then. But we shouldn't lie to her. I was trying to put Zoe's mind at rest. Do you think she wants to hear the truth about Paddy? She's got enough to worry about. He's meant to be one of her best friends. Friends are meant to be there in times of need. And Paddy tried his best at the start of Zoe's illness. Then he gave up on her. We shouldn't be arguing about this. Yes, Paddy can't deal with it. Yes, we shouldn't be misleading Zoe, but what else can we do? She will be out of hospital sometime soon. She won't forget about this. We wondered if it might help her application if we were married. We are planning on tying the knot in. It wouldn't really make any difference, to be honest. But congratulations, I'm sure we'd be very happy. 
Nearly done for today, then. OK, so we know why you want to foster and we've covered who you've got as your support network. That's all great. Now it's just down to checking out who else is in the household with you. It's, um... My friend Nicola, she, she's just staying with us at the moment. Ah, we do need to know about all the occupants of the house. Well, she'll be leaving next week. Permanently. I see. Do you often have lodgers? No. No, no definitely a one-off. Well, if for any reason she does continue to stay, we'll have to go No, no, no she won't be staying, mate. Even if we have to remove her by force. <laughs> I've had the old guest who's outstayed their welcome. That's fine, then. Do you have any children of your own, Mr Shepherd? Bill, please. Yeah, I do, two boys. Quite a handful. I have a lot of respect for people who foster. It's difficult enough when they're your own. We know it won't be easy. But it has its reward and it makes a real difference to the children. Right then. I look forward to seeing a lot more of you both as we get cracking on with things. Thanks for the tea and the lovely homemade biscuits. I would just ask you to be patient. There's a lot of follow-up stuff to be done now. We've started your application. I understand. I'll see you out. Trisha? Oh. Where have you been? Um, I just went for a walk. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, sorry. Where did you go? Just by the lake. It's beautiful up there, isn't it? Trisha, are you all right? Yeah. Just, you're acting a bit strange. I'm fine. Got some dinner? Marlon? Yeah? There's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah? Um. Maybe we should get rid of that fireplace. Like Rona said. <laughs> 